Yo, what's up guys? Blake here bringing you some exalted ice PvP. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. All right, dude, I'm ready. I'm fired up, bro. We're about to go first. I'm feeling it. Yo, where are they at though? Lewis Lotus. Okay. All right, so he's part of the Lotus clan. I see you. I see you, Weed Whacker. Uh, he's probably balanced, dude, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's see what happens here. I really hope we go first because I hate going second to a balance, man. I mean, I Yo, that's nice. Shad and first. Broken. He's a life. Okay. Okay, so basically we just have to play really conservatively, essentially. So I'm just going to stun block first turn. I don't want to myth banter. He's a knight, so, you know, he could do something cool like that. I'm going to wait to bubble because I want to see if he bubbles first. Because if he does bubble first, that's really good value for us because he's going to waste three pips, you know what I'm saying? So let's just put up the stun block. Not a problem, dude good first move against any school you know so let's see what he does here all right so that's definitely stun block i mean it could be a set shield but i doubt it you know what i'm saying i really doubt it there's no way there's no way okay so we're gonna use one of these and now i'm gonna go ahead and bubble this turn but i'm gonna keep all my bubbles in my in my hand because we are going against a life which means that we basically have to one shot them we basically have to one shot them so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bubble here. He sees that I've got the Shad. He probably thinks I'm going to Blade this turn, which is also a good move. I could have done that if I pulled for a Blade. But I'm happy with Bubble. It's a solid move. So this is probably a Shield now, or Stun Block. Okay, it's a Stun Block. Interesting. Okay. So that's a Set Shield then, I guess. That's a Set Shield what he's got on. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice that we got the Life Shield, but I'm not going to Shield until he gets a Shad or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's really, there's no point in me shielding when he can just weaver it off or something like that so the play essentially is going to be to keep bubble control blade stack make sure we don't die basically and then just like shrike green oak into something like that i mean we're first so life is really good against ice but if you're first i mean you can still win pretty easily so oh and the pet coming through hopefully with brace brace would be hot okay info that's not bad that's gonna make him play more defensively so this is probably a bubble change yeah, okay. So that's fine. That's good because that creates value for us. Each time that he bubbles, he's wasting three or four pips, you know? And when we bubble, it's only two. So, okay, let's get rid of that because that's useful. We have the blade here. Let's see what bubble it is. Oh, it's the crit bubble. So we wasted twice, dude. He wasted it twice. So I could change it right away or I could blade. But I'm going to change it right away because I don't, I don't want him, you know what I mean? 20% pierce, bro. He crits a... Uh, he creates a, a Luminous Weaver, and that does math. So, we're just going to go ahead and change the bubble. There's no reason not to, you know. I doubt he has that many in his hand. Like, we kept three of them in our hand, so we're in a good spot. So, yeah, at this point, let's see what he does. He probably went for... Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting. Maybe a weakness? Okay, that's actually really good, because I was going to Green Oak anyway, and he's probably going to Luminous Weaver, and we got the second shot. Dude, that's really nice. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to get rid of the other green oak. This is a solid hand. I mean, there's nothing really I need to change. I'm going to go ahead and 50 blade. We're going to keep this 40 blade. We're basically trying to pull for strike at this point. Basically trying to pull for strike. So I'm actually going to get rid of this blade because I have both 50 blades up. And I'd like to TC blade if I can instead, if I am going to blade again. So we're just going to 50 blade, you know. So his best move here, I know he got the shad, but I don't, I don't really want to shield, you know. Because we're in such a good position right now, even if he did crit a caterpillar, we'd be fine. So, he passed, bro. Why did he pass? Like, actually, why did he pass? He was trying to, I guarantee you he was probably trying to pull or something like that. So, the biggest problem here is that we don't have, um, we don't have Shrike. That's our biggest problem here. But, it's not really a problem, because I'm just going to shield this round anyway. I'm not even going to pull anything. And we're going to get rid of one bubble. We're going to get rid of a bubble because we still have one in hand. He's probably drawing for a bubble, actually. Going to get rid of the sharpen. And I'm just going to go ahead and shield this turn. Did he give up, bro? What's going on? Yo. All right. I mean, free rank. I'll take it. What's going on, though? Maybe he's baiting me. I doubt it, though. He probably just disconnected or he gave up or something like that. Okay. All right. So, yeah. We got the strike. That's gas. That's game over, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't even have to strike. I can just Green Oak, and then if he doesn't do anything this round, I can just Lord of Winter, or a Bomb, or anything. So I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to get rid of the, the Shadow Wand, though, at this point. So yeah, we're just going to do this. Yeah, dude, I think he just gave up. He gave up, or he disconnected? Oh, no, he's back. He's back. Okay. 
So he's probably gonna shield this round. Let's see though. All I know is that a Lord of Winter or an bomb is definitely a one shot. Cause I have Infella and Bubble. So unless he changes the bubble right now or shields or something like that. And if he does shield, I'm just gonna strike, you know? So let's see what he does. Okay, bubble switch probably. Okay. Interesting. So now I have to play carefully. So what I might want to do actually is strike into a bubble change. Because I think he's going to heal. I really think he's going to heal. So yeah. And I have double shots. I'm basically, I'm going to strike into the bubble change. And the reason for that is because I think he's just going to spam Seder. He thinks he has the bubble control and everything. So we're going to strike this turn anyway. I could go for the kill right now though. Honestly. But the problem is if he, if it doesn't kill, I need to think. Yeah, dude, I don't know if it kills for sure. I know it's double-bladed, but he did get the bub. So I'm going to go ahead and strike. I'm hoping that he satyrs this round. But we're going to strike. I'm hoping that he thinks I went for the hit and that he might tank. So my guess is that he's going to satyr right now. No, he's not going to satyr? What is this, bro? Dang, okay, that's bad, actually. That's not good. That is not good, but that's okay. Because we still have a shad. We're in strike. We're in a really good spot, so... Yeah, that did nothing. That did nothing. So now he might think I'm going for the kill. Now he really might think I'm going for the kill. So we're going to go ahead and bubble change. Because bubble change is a good move. We don't want him to be able to heal. Yeah. So bubble change for sure is our play. And then probably, I mean, it depends what he does next. But yeah, bubble, bubble switch is the best move here. He could caterpillar. But I mean, if he does, we just like, he's screwed anyway. We just want to change the bubble. That's all I know. We want to change the bubble right now. We want to get bubble control. We don't want to give him any any chance to crit satyrs, you know, and do like 6k or something crazy. Yo, and the pet. I hope it's infal. Alright, Brace. That's solid, dude. This pet is so gas. He probably satyred. Let's see what he did here. Oh, no. Okay, he went for the caterpillar. Alright, so he's playing offensive, bro. That's lucky from the pet that we got Brace. But, I mean, we didn't need it because we're going to Weaver him next turn anyway. Or, actually, I might Lord of Winter. I might load a winter just to get his pips gone. Yeah, dude. Even if he crit, this would do nothing. We switched the bubble and everything. Yeah, dude. That did nothing. It's game over. It's game over, dude. All right. So we're going to get rid of the triage. Get rid of that. Get rid of the mantle. Get rid of that. So let's think. Now, if we Lord of Winter, we can't a bomb after. So, yeah. And I want. I don't think he's going to heal. I, I really don't think he's going to heal now. Because he, he didn't heal earlier. So, yeah. This is a solid hand. Um, I'm going to uh, Weaver because it does more damage. Well, it does about the same, but it has a chance of doing more damage. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to. I want to keep my pips. If I can Weaver again, that would, that would be amazing. So, yeah, this should do a lot. Even with the 25 weakness, this is going to do a lot. No crit, but that's okay. 250 blades, a 35, and bubble. Dude, this is doing mass. Yeah, bro, and I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to put those set shields and be all sneaky? Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, yo! Dude, that did so much, bro. That actually did so much. Holy. Bro, that was actually crazy. That did so much. All right, I'm down. 1924, let's go. Getting close to 2K. You'd love to see that. My boy, Lo Lewis Lotus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that match. It was a lot of fun playing. We're still on that 2K grind, getting super close. But yeah, next match is going to be a quick match, 1v1 on the fire. And yeah, drop a sub if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.